I can't even yeah. really weird throat noises. Well, I have a little alien inside my neck. It's come like three times. I've named him Phil. Hey, I'm Laura Morano, and I'm about to play a game of song association with Al. Basically, I'll be given a word, and I will have 10 seconds to sing that word in a song. I have seen this game so much on YouTube. I'm obsessed. I'm really, really excited to play the game. I'm a little bit nervous, which is hilarious because I'm basically in my condo alone with my lovely boyfriend who's helping me film this. So I really shouldn't be nervous, but I am. It's gonna be great. Before I start the game, I am so excited because my new single, When You Wake Up, is out. And I cannot wait for you guys to listen to it, wake up to it, and tell me what you think of it. I'm really, really proud of the song. Okay, let's rock this. Shout out Eric Vitro. You. Hey, hey, mama, like the way you move. Gonna make you sweat, gonna make you groove. Oh, also, <laughs> wake me up when you wake up. Wake me up when you wake up. By me, Laura Morano. Sweet. I could be a sweet dream or a beautiful nightmare. Either way, I don't wanna wake up from me. I'm actually terrible with lyrics, so I'm really excited that I'm at least getting the word. Hold. <laughs> um, I have another song called Can't Hold On Forever. It's a... Uh, we can't hold on forever. It's not out yet, but it will be coming out. So I feel like I, I should count that. Oh, the first song I ever recorded... Um, <laughs> it depends how early you want to go. Because I could go to the poop song Sarah Silverman. Sarah Silverman program. Um, recorded that song. In fact, when I started first releasing music, that song kept popping up. And I was like, oh, this is great. It's gonna follow me around forever. And I'm really proud of it still. The real kind of recording of one of my songs was called um, Middle School Drama. And it was M-I-D-D-L-E-S-C-H-O-O-L Drama. Middle School Drama. I was in middle school when I wrote it. It was a banger, not gonna lie. Follow. Where you lead, I will follow. Carol King. Or also the theme song of Gilmore Girls. Three. One, two, three, and I'm bing, bing, be, better be, 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 and I'm caught up in me. I don't know as many words of that song as I should, but still a banger. Boom. You're my boombox, baby, you can say anything, blow my speakers out with you. Yeah, you're my boombox, baby, you can sing anything, I'ma sing along with you. If I push the right button, will you show me something? Little melody that I can groove to. Cruising with my boombox, baby, you can say anything, blow my speakers out with you. I wish I could move my eyebrows individually. Yes, I do have this on selfie mode. I think probably my favorite music video uh, to date of all time would be Boombox, which was the first music video I did as a solo artist. And it was just an absolute dream come true. I was so anxious about it and so nervous the night before and I was just kind of preparing myself in a weird way for the shoot day not to go well. And the day came the next day and it was truly like the most incredible day of my life. Hands. Hands, touching hands, touching me, touching you, whoa. I'm not sure why I became a man there, but Sweet Caroline by uh, Neil Diamond, I wanna say? I should know that. Come on, Laura. Me. I literally had a whole EP called me. Um, do you think, 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 do you think about me? Me, by me. My favorite song to record on me was probably me. When we wrote it, we were like jumping up and down. We were like, ah, oh, the song is so catchy and it was so fun. And 
I was just like in a really great headspace when I recorded it. And I think probably the most challenging song was Let Me Cry, which was originally called Not Today. It was challenging for me vocally. And it was challenging, um, I think emotionally as well. I know I'm being irrational, right now a little bit flammable. You better watch out, watch out. I know I'm dressing so casual, in my bed laying diagonal. I'm all alone now, right now. I have to literally, like, go into a sad place to sing it. Do you instantly see my face change? Also realizing how much those lyrics, I feel like, relate to my life right now. Um, and maybe a lot of people's lives because of social distancing. But hey, it's okay to cry. Let me cry. Good. Um. <laughs> Good night, my someone. Good night, my love. Sleep tight, my someone. Sleep tight, my love. Classic. Like. It's so not like me to get in the way I know I don't know what I'm doing Pull speed in a light year A minute sparks fly and I'm electrocuted So not like me to do this My heart don't have a clock So it can tell when the timing's off I know it's not very likely not trying is not really like me. One of my dream collaborators was always Jason Mraz. <laughs> this isn't answering the question. This is just more of like a, a subtle brag, but it's not um, that subtle. I love Jason Mraz and I've always wanted to collaborate with him because I'm just like a huge fan. I'm between I'm yours or even all the songs from Mr. A to Z. Like he's just awesome. And then I ended up um, writing a song with him, Not Like Me. I'm really, really proud of that song, and I was really proud of that moment of getting to work with him. Back. Back streets, back, all right. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. My sister's boyfriend, for his birthday party, well, not even the theme, just the whole birthday party, was learning the dance for that song. I came so late to the party that I missed both the learning of it and the performance. But I had the perfect outfit for it and was so bummed. It was a, and it was a great idea for a party. So I still don't know how to do the dance, but my sister and her boyfriend does do grammar. Feel. It's just the way you make me feel. The way you make me feel. Just the way you make me feel. Music. Um, I keep wanting to sing, he lives in you. But that's not, um, uh, hi, the High School Musical song. Uh, uh, you are the music in me. I have the most eclectic music uh, in my iTunes. Some song from a musical, so either In the Heights, um, we have Ragtime on my iTunes, more of like a Vanessa than mine. Great musical, but I don't know. My sister and I used to share on iTunes. I think we still do. And somehow my sister had those sound effects um, on an album and now they're on my iTunes. And it's super embarrassing when I'm like getting my hair and makeup done and I'm putting my song, um, my iTunes on shuffle. So like, there'll be like chicken sounds. There'll be like a really weird alien sounds. Like <laughs> heart. The heart wants what it wants. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Gotcha. Man. Okay, I feel like this one, obviously. I be the man, man. Taylor Swift. I feel like I did a quite a big build up for that, but like we knew where I was going, come on. I think I did pretty well. I was really nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Who would have thought I'd be playing this game in my house? Thank you guys so much for watching me play Song Association on L. Make sure you guys subscribe to L. Um, their YouTube channel and just have the best day. Stay safe, everyone. Keep social distancing if you can, and I love you so much. Mwah.